Welcome back to the Morning Blend. Well, at some point, most of us realize we need to eat better. Or in my case, in Tiffany's, it's like we go through waves of like, mm -hmm. I gotta start eating healthier. Ups and downs, ups yep. and downs. Well, joining us now is Laura Lawrence. She has a love for good food and being healthy, so she started a blog to share her recipe ideas with the rest of us so we can be a little healthier too. Good morning, Laura. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Good nice to have you on the show. Here. What inspired you to start being so healthy and cooking healthy? Were you always like this? Did you grow up with healthy food in the home? You know, it's interesting. I became a vegetarian when I was 12 years old, and my options then were to have a bowl of um, frozen broccoli every single night so <laughs> I decided as an adult it was probably wise to come up with some healthy cooking options beyond the frozen vegetables. Mm -hmm. And what's your your concept? Is it to take things that you like that are maybe higher in calories and fat and try to figure out a way to make it so that it's more healthy? I find a lot of my recipes on Pinterest and then I go and modify because I don't like cooking with a lot of oil and butter and fats. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely don't like baking with sugar so I just go on there find recipes that look appealing and I find a healthier option for cooking it myself and I would just like to share that with everybody on my blog. It's great. People who love Pinterest know you cannot go to Pinterest and not drool. It's like uh -huh. everything is some massive recipe for amazing food. Now this here, this is a picture from your blog. Describe exactly what you do on your blog and, and why um, you started doing it all. Well, I think that people can be overwhelmed by recipes when it, it seems like the directions have so many steps. So I put everything out, label the ingredients, I show step by step, um, I take pictures step by step and show what the process should look like. So you're seeing not just the finished product, but what does it look like when you're sauteing the vegetables? What does it look like when it's baking in the oven? And it's just an easier method for the everyday cook. Mm -hmm. I like that. And I was looking through your blog too, and I, I saw some things that looked really tempting, like a Mexican sweet potato couscous salad. I think mm. we showed a picture mm -hmm. of that. You had the roasted shrimp enchiladas. We had a picture of that. And then there was this white chocolate cranberry pecan bread and it looked Yum. fantastic I mean it was all brown and looked delicious and I know you use stevia rather than sugar so is that how you in terms of baking because you mentioned baking mm -hmm. specifically is your sugar substitute usually stevia typically and it's funny that you bring up that one recipe because it's the one recipe on my blog that was the kind of not the healthiest oh, recipe. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it's it's very good uh -huh. it looks really good well, you need to treat yourself now and then so Absolutely. let's talk about these crab cakes this Sure. Crab cakes for most of us generally are a treat, mm -hmm. and this is a healthier way to make them. It is. Um, a lot of crab cakes are fried. Um, mm -hmm. They're fried in oil in a pan, and these are not. They're baked. So um, laid out here on the table, I have all of the ingredients for it, and this will be posted on the blog, so if anybody wants to find the recipe after the show, they can do that. But I have all of the diced vegetables here, red bell peppers, celery, onions. I have Greek seasoning, capers, garlic, um, Worcestershire sauce, and olive oil. That all gets sauteed together in a skillet and then you blend in a bowl. There's panko breadcrumbs, an egg that you beat. Um, there's crab meat, there's Dijon mustard, and Greek yogurt. Mm. That gets mixed together, you add the sauteed vegetables, and then you put it into the mini muffin pan, and you bake, simple as that. Voila. Um, yeah. I think th th it, it, a lot of people are gonna look at this and say, wow, those are all really healthy ingredients, mm -hmm. but it also it tastes really good. It does. It's light. Um, you're not going to feel heavy and bloated and terrible after you eat it, which is um, definitely one of the reasons why I try to eat healthy. I don't like that concrete in the gut feeling after a meal. So absolutely, it's a, it's a better version. And you use canned um, crab, right? I do. Okay, just like a, a, a large jumbo lump crab. Yep, you, okay. you just have to make sure to drain it. Um, and if you're particularly picky about getting the sodium off of it, you can also rinse it. Okay. okay. What's on top of that one? That is a sauce that's made from the Greek yogurt, um, Dijon mustard, and sriracha. Okay, so the sauce goes on top, mm -hmm. so it's not mixed inside. No, it goes on top. Okay. What's sriracha again? I forgot. Um, it is a, a hot pepper sauce. Um, Easy to find? Similar to yeah. Red Hot. Okay. It's like a yeah. spicy little spicy little red sauce you okay. put on It's on all the tables at Noodles and Company. Yes, and yes. yes. Yeah. I put it on my mac and cheese there, which Katie is really said good. Katie has a rooster on it? Yeah, it does. It has yes. a rooster okay. on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's how you can spot it when you're at the uh, grocery store. Uh -huh. um, and as far as your blog goes, how often are you updating it? What kinds of recipes? Are all of them vegetarian then? Um, they're not all vegetarian. I'm actually a pescatarian, so I do eat seafood food and I mm -hmm. do eat fish, um, but I don't typically do cooking blogs that involve chicken or meat. Um, I eat vegetarian at home and my daughter does too, so that's, that's the way I prefer to cook. Mm -hmm. um, but I update the blog weekly and um, okay. 
Yeah, I just try to find recipes that I feel the general public would typically enjoy, even if they're not vegetarians. It's it's pretty user friendly. Mm -hmm. I think that's great. And you have a, a special guest on your blog. I did. Um, actually, a month ago, I went out to Cape Cod to visit a dear friend of mine, Jacqueline Michard, who you both know. She's oh, been on yeah, the show author. a number of uh -huh. times. Yes. Of course. And I went out there with her family. She has 10 kids. So we all cooked together and we made um, ground nut stew. So that recipe I'm going to be posting on the blog next week. Ground with nut stew. Yes. What's it's in it? Like, amazing. <laughs> just what's in it, real quick, some of the ingredients. Um, there is peanut butter in it, which is, you know, the best food in the world. Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, there's tomatoes and squash and a bunch of vegetables and it's just this awesome easy healthy vegetarian because Jackie is also a vegetarian mm -hmm. so it's it's amazing and kids eat it because she has little ones and they love it that's fantastic yeah. and you're gonna Sounds post exciting. that on your blog I am next week so watch for that okay, okay. that's All right. fantastic well here's the website it's goodyearhealth.blogspot.com thanks Laura thank you. nice thank to meet you thank you